In May 2016, we learned that the National Earthquake Conference was referring to the San Andreas Fault as being locked, loaded and ready to roll. Now, the US Geological Survey is saying there are increased odds. Originally the odds were pinned to 1 in 3000 but have been revised to 1 in 100 of a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake being triggered on the southern San Andreas Fault through Tuesday, October 4. An earthquake advisory has been issued for residents and officials in Ventura, San Diego, San Bernardino, Riverside, Orange, Los Angeles, Kern and Imperial Counties, all along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault, to be prepared. Numerous small earthquakes erupted near the Salton Sea for about 24 continuous hours at the beginning of this week, and more than 200 earthquakes were recorded. The LA Times reports that this has happened only twice since 1932, and this has been the largest swarm of earthquakes yet. The California Earthquake Prediction Evaluation Council believes that stresses associated with this earthquake swarm may increase the probability of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault by up to 1%. If a magnitude 7 earthquake were to be experienced along the fault, one report predicts, it's possible that hundreds of brick and concrete buildings could fall, and even a few fairly new high-rise steel buildings. The death toll could climb to 1,800 people, and such an earthquake could cause 50,000 injuries and $200 billion in damage. Research seismologist Robert Graves told reporters that these types of advisories should serve as a reminder to residents to take precautionary measures. In general, advisories are not common. They have been issued in the past in situations like this where we see somewhat unusual behavior particularly near our large active faults. Those living in Southern California are in this together and have to acknowledge and recognize that earthquakes are a part of life. They are unpredictable in terms of when, where or how large. But past history has shown us you don't go very long within a time span where you don't have a strong or major earthquake. For those interested in the San Andreas, the San Andreas Fault which runs through the Cajun Pass, stretches 700 miles through California, and the southern end is estimated to be 50 to 100 years overdue for a large earthquake. The San Andreas Fault suffered two major quakes in the 19th century. I 7.5 magnitude in 1812 and a 7.9 earthquake in 1857. The San Andreas Fault in Southern California has been quiet since and Southern California hasn't had a true big one, which is a quake greater than a 7.7 .7 magnitude, since 1857. There are other nearby fault lines including the San Bernardino Fault Zone near Oak Hills, the Hellendale Fault and a fault line that goes through Lenwood. Most of the faults in the high desert are active faults. The San Andreas Fault is a major player but it is not the only fault. But the rate in which the other faults have earthquakes is far lower than the San Andreas. In 1992, there was a large earthquake, a magnitude 7.3, called the Landers Earthquake which ruptured north of Indio and east of Barstow. That quake ruptured on a series of faults that prior to that event, the previous earthquake was maybe 60 or 80,000 years ago. So very infrequent, but obviously an active fault. With this being said, Californians who have known of the threat for years often believe the San Andreas is the fault who cried wolf. But some people are legitimately worried. If history repeats itself, as it oftentimes does, October the 4th will pass without issue. This of course is an estimated assumption though. Either way, this event serves as a reminder to be prepared. Have three days, at a minimum, worth of water and food, and extra clothing. Not only this, but if you rely on prescription medicines, make certain to include them with your survival kit. I would love to hear about your thoughts on this event. Do you believe we'll experience a large earthquake on the scale in which the advisory speaks of, or will another week pass us by without issue? 
please comment down below and share your opinion. If you would like to chat, you know what to do. Make certain to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Stay alert. Be safe.